In this video, we will discuss about uh, McLeod gauge. McLeod gauge is used for uh, high vacuum measurement, so it can measure up to 10 power minus 6 tau. In olden days, for measuring these uh, lower vacuums, McLeod gauge is only available. So this McLeod gauge is having advantage like it is having good accuracy and good range. And besides these advantages, there are disadvantages like uh, so it is fragile so a lot of glass apparatus involved it need to be handled very carefully and uh, so it is not giving any direct uh, indication no it is not cannot be used for online monitoring so it gives the reading on sampling basis and other disadvantage is it handles a lot of uh, mercury in its operation so this mercury is a restricted uh, material so these are the disadvantages thus the that make the inventor to see for an alternative so the pirani gauge and pinning gauge are, uh, came into a uh, picture and this uh, with these gauges you can measure up to 10 power minus 9 tau so even though this is uh, gauge is having disadvantages so this McLeod gauge is still used in uh, laboratories mm, as it is used as a primary standard which means it can be used for calibration of uh, the uh, gauges like uh, Pirani gauge and Penning gauge which are routinely used in your industrial uh, operation. This is the uh, relation how the pressure is related to the uh, head uh, inside a U2 manometer. If you see, this is the U2 manometer. Whenever these uh, pressures are equal in these two arms, so there is uh, there is no generation of the head. Whenever a high pressure is applied, so this is the reference pressure, which is an atmospheric pressure. So whenever a high pressure is applied, the liquid, so inside the U2 manometer will move towards uh, this atmospheric reference pressure side. So there is generation of the head. So this head is directly proportional to your pressure and if you are connecting a vacuum so this uh, atmospheric pressure is higher than the vacuum so there is a movement of the liquid towards the vacuum uh, side so there is a head that is generated which is related to your pressure so this is the relation which gives uh, the relation between uh, the pressure and uh, the head if you see uh, that uh, the pressure that is uh, exerting uh, by the gas inside the, uh, the container so this uh, gas molecules if you see these are any liquid that is filled up so this uh, gas molecules will exert the force on the surface of that liquid and the pressure is given by the force so that is exerting per unit area that is the surface area and if you submit uh, force as mg that is mass into acceleration due to gravity and uh, mass as rho into density um, sorry rho into volume and as volume as uh, a into h that is uh, area into this height to use the volume and finally we will get a relation between the pressure and the head so by measuring this head so the pressure can be measured this u2 manometer is a direct vacuum measurement technique so there are if you classify the vacuum measurement techniques so they are direct and indirect so example for direct is this uh, manometer like my u2 manometer and McLeod gauge is also one type of manometers and indirect measurement techniques are for pirani gauge and penning gauge so their indirect measurement we are not measuring directly the pressure so we are measuring the pressure dependent uh, properties like thermal conductivity ionization current so which will give a direct indication of the pressure so here if you see this uh, indirect um, vacuum measurement technique so this uh, youtube manometer it can measure only the pressure up to 10 power minus 2 tau so what are the limiting factor is so if you go to lower pressures so the pressure that is exerted by the these uh, gases are very small so which will not give a measurable head so, but how this uh, McLeod gauge, which is also a direct uh, vacuum measurement technique, so which is a one type of manometer, so, but how it is measuring the vacuums of 10 power minus 6, here we see. This McLeod gauge is also known as compressive manometer. Here, what it is basically operating on Boyle's law, which states that pressure into volume is always constant at a certain temperature. So here what it is doing, so this is the gas, so which is trapped, so this is the McLeod gauge which is having a Y junction, so these are, this is the Y junction, so two arms are uh, there, 
so this is a port is connected to the uh, vessel where the or chamber where the pressure need to be measured so this is the gas molecules the dotted one are the gas molecules we can see so and here what we are, this is the known volume from the above area so the above area is the known volume so from this dotted line so the whatever uh, the bulb and measuring capillary we are uh, seeing so this volume is known which is uh, given by volume v so whenever the liquid so comes to this point that is cut off point so this uh, whatever the gas inside this uh, known volume is trapped this is the reference capillary so here we can see so this is the zero this is the zero point so this is the zero point for your uh, measuring capillary uh, and uh, this is the cutoff point so whenever this uh, liquid or that is mercury so the here we are pumping this mercury from this mercury reservoir using a plunger or any hand pump so whenever we are pumping this uh, mercury above this cutoff point water line so the whatever the gas is present inside this uh, bulb and this measuring capillary is trapped so this is the known volume here you can see this is the known volume so from this point to your point here this is a known volume so this is the known volume and here we see the operation so here both the cutoff point so this is the cutoff point we have pumped the mercury by using this plunger whenever we press this so this mercury enters into this and we have to pump until the mercury reaches this level that is zero reference in this reference capillary this is the reference capillary so whenever this mercury reaches this point which is corresponding to zero of this measuring capillary so we have to stop uh, the pumping so there is a certain amount of gas that is uh, trapped inside uh, this uh, measuring capillary here you can see so whenever there is a higher amount of the gas means high pressure so more amount of uh, head that is generated whenever the lower if you are measuring uh, very if the, the pressure inside that uh, chamber is very less so this lower number of gas molecules are present and the amount of head that is generated will be correspondingly decreased this uh, operates we already discussed this operates by trapping a definite volume of the low pressure gas so from this to this we know here we are trapping this low pressure gas and compressing this volume with fixed pressure so this pressure is fixed so we are compressing this gas with the fixed pressure the pressurized new volume so this is the pressurized new volume so we are stopping this uh, compression up to whenever this uh, liquid inside this reference capillary reaches this zero point so we are stopping the compression and this uh, pressurized new volume is then a measure of the absolute pressure this head is a measure of your absolute pressure whenever there is a higher uh, pressure the higher head is generated and whenever there is a lower pressure means low number of gas molecules are present so the lower head is generated which gives a direct measure of your uh, low vacuum pressure so this is the zero uh, reference for this uh, reference capillary so this is the head that is generated here you can see so how uh, the uh, equation can be derived by using the Boyle's law so here this is before pumping this uh, uh, mercury so this is the known volume so if you consider this known volume as V and R is the radius of this uh, measuring uh, capillary so and the pressure of vacuum be P so this is the pressure of this vacuum be P and whenever this mercury is pumped inside uh, uh, this uh, cut above uh, this cut off point into this known volume that is bulb and this measuring capillary so when it is need to be pumped whenever uh, this uh, liquid inside this reference capillary reaches the zero reference we need to pump so whenever it is pumped so we are getting a new volume so because of uh, the compression of uh, this uh, gas so here if you see after pumping the mercury into the measuring capillary the gas is known the gas in known volume is compressed so we know that mm, this is the known volume and this is compressed to this uh, volume and occupies a length h in capillary this is the measuring capillary and occupies uh, this uh, length depending upon uh, the gas pressure and the new volume of the gas is we know that 
r is the radius of uh, this uh, measuring capillary and volume is given by area into this head so area of this measuring capillary is pi r square and if you multiply that with head we will get the volume and the pressure is the sum of uh, the applied pressure so the measuring pressure and also due to the mercury column of length h so here we are compressing the gas and we are increasing the pressure even though the volume is decreased we, this is based on the Boyle's law so using Boyle's law so PV is always a constant P1 V1 equal to P2 V2 in our case P1 is P and V1 is V so in uh, this case so P2 is inertial to this pressure so there is a pressure that is generated due to the compression so the pressure is HP plus H into the new volume pi r square into h as uh, this uh, new pressure that is generated is very high compared to this uh, measuring pressure so if you see so this can be neglected this term here it can be neglected so it gives pv equal to pi r square h square where h is the head that is uh, measured which is directly gives indication of this pressure so this is unknown vacuum pressure is given by p equal to pi r square h square by v so this is uh, the relation of uh, the mcleod gauge the mcleod gauge is considered to be laboratory standard so which is used for calibrating other types of vacuum detectors like pirani gauge penning gauge we, it can use it for calibration up to 10 power minus 6 stop so it is used as a uh, a primary standard because here you see all these volumes or uh, measurable parameters so this can be used as a primary standard so this measures the vacuum on sampling basis so this is the disadvantage it cannot be used for online applications which is required in our uh, industries so by compressing the known volume of the gas we know that known volume v so by known ratio so to a higher pressure means we know the ratio also we need to pump up to the uh, zero reference in the reference uh, capillary so which with, with this we we can we are measuring uh, the uh, original pressure in terms of the head of uh, the mercury column thank you for watching my video